Hello, that is just fully copyrighted music, so we can't listen to that. Um, give me a second because I can't find the thing that makes your Nancy Drew games smaller. I can't find it. I don't, I can't find it on my computer. Where did it go? Um, that's not great. Is that, I, I just, did it not, is it not on my laptop anymore? Did my dad remove it when he was, as you know, but like I had it last week. I had it last week. It's gone. Where did it go? Okay, here it is. Jeez. Okay. That was super weird. Um, it just wasn't showing up and it was stressing me out. So it's fine. It's fine and we'll deal with it. Um, here, let's just, uh, no. Okay. That is not what I want. Um, let me it's uh sorry sorry everything broke again yeah that should be it and that should also there we go okay i don't know why everything happened have had to break today um, we will briefly try, um, we're, we're gonna briefly try having a guy, cause things have been very bad on my laptop. Uh, yes, new game time indeed. Path. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. It's very hard when everyone is, like, talking about things and I cannot be a part of them. It stresses me out a lot. Let's see. Uh, center. Keep aspect ratio. I'm trying to remember all the things. And I don't remember all the things. But it's okay because I haven't noticed much change. Okay. Uh, yes. So we are playing Scarlet Hand. One sec, I gotta close some tabs so it doesn't explode. Also, hello, Elliot. Welcome. Oh, okay, we are going right into it. Let's... Dear Dad, greetings from the new that deputy looks... curator at Beecho Museum in Washington, D.C. Oh, right, we're in D.C. We're in a museum How's right now. That? I sure hope this letter reaches you in Wagadougou before you move on to Nairobi. So I got oh. the internship. Okay. Your friend Franklin Rose was... All... all right, okay, that should be good. Uh, yeah, let's get started. Welcome to my latest case, oh my. Secret of the Scarlet Hand. To start playing, oh, wait, I don't need to. Junior or Dear Dad, greetings from the new deputy <laughs> we hear it again. at Beecho Museum in Washington, D.C. All right. I miss you, by the way. How's Africa? I sure hope this letter Why is he in Africa? Matadugu before you move on to Nairobi. He so is a lawyer. Your old friend Franklin Rose was awfully nice to submit my name to the rest of the members of the museum's board of directors. What an opportunity while I'm in between cases. As you probably know, the museum specializes in ancient Maya culture. Oh, right. Joanna Riggs, a well-known archaeologist. Maybe you've seen right. her. Right. I forgot this one was about. The discovery of a strange Maya monolith. Apparently it's created the Maya Empire. In the field. Uh. Well, Beach Hill plans to feature the monolith in an upcoming exhibition. Mm. Just imagine this artifact has been This is going to be this will be an interesting years, one. This will be an interesting one for sure. The for the first time. The museum is short staffed at the moment and they're expecting such a huge turnout that they've closed their doors to prepare. I can hardly wait to dig into this exciting project and learn how archaeologists and historians solve the mysteries of ancient cultures. I'll keep you posted. Love Nancy. Nancy Drew, I presume. Jesus. <laughs> I'm Joanna Sorry, Riggs. She scared Welcome me. She scared me real bad. Um. I was just checking the lock on this display case. <laughs> this is one of the museum's most treasured pieces, a carving of King Pakal. Cool. Who is King Pakal? What is this angle? Oh my god, what is this 12. angle? Can you imagine? That was 615 AD. He ruled for 68 years at the height of the Maya civilization. Is that Jade? 
Yes, the Maya loved jade and used it for many of their carvings. I don't know. Why is there it so dark in this like museum? This That's a great world, question. And it's priceless, which means I practically had to sell my own grandmother to get it. How did the museum acquire it? Leave it to Taylor Sinclair. He's a wizard when it comes to these deals. You'll meet him later. Yikes. I don't think I'm gonna like that guy. Now then, Nancy, you're coming on board at a critical time for Beach Hill. An exhibit of this caliber is not kept I thought up. she said Beach Franklin Hill, Rose and I was like, what? You're a real trooper, and I hope he's right, because I'm not here to babysit. I don't care who your father is. Okay. Um... I guess her dad in this is not a lawyer? If there's one thing I've learned from my it, father, I thought he was a lawyer. Hard work. Just tell me where to start. There's a list of tasks for you in the lab. Once you've knocked those off, we'll regroup. Um, okay. Before I dig in, can you tell me about the exhibit we're gearing up for? In addition to our permanent collection, we're borrowing rare pieces from museums and private collectors around the world. Cool. Soon we'll be sitting on the most fabulous collection of Maya artifacts ever assembled in one place. And now that we've scored the monolith too, Beach Hill Sora numero uno. This monolith. It's yeah, another chore discovery. simulator. Fantastic. Yes, Sorry, I'm researching Nancy Drew's dad. Americans and Mexicans His name's Carson, both. by the way. Dug it out of a cave I actually knew that. I haven't gotten Every to there yet. I'm just, to I just started Googling it. Yeah, he's a lawyer. Carson Drew. The deal. Carson Drew. Nancy's dad. Stop telling me about the TV show. I don't want to know about the TV show. I mean the books. Okay, what about the games? Carson Drew, video game character. His picture on this video game wiki is of a golf ball. He's a lawyer. What does that have to do with anything? Oh my god. <laughs> His wife was a spy. Holy shit. Okay, his friend got Nancy the job, but that doesn't have to do- like, I guess- I guess he just- he's just going to Africa for fun? He's a lawyer. He's touring Africa. Why? Whatever. Whatever. Why do you mention the nationalities of the archaeologists? Because in archaeology, everyone wants to be king of the sandbox. I became a curator because I want to help make artifacts available to as many people as possible. That's all that matters, isn't it? Unless you're Alejandro Del Rio. Who's Alejandro Del Good name. Rio? Ugh, wouldn't you rather hear about the monolith? It's a massive pillar of stone, nearly 1,500 years old, with Maya glyphs carved into it. We've installed it in the garden. Wait until you see it. Um, how do you know it's 1500 years old? According to Henrik, the monolith was made at the special There's request too much information right now for me. I feel like I'm going to explode. Know its purpose was. Who's Henrik? Henrik Vanderhoon, world-renowned expert in Maya hieroglyphics. He's the latest addition to the Beach Hill Brain Trust. I told him I don't even want to see his pointy Vander head till he's got a translation on that monolith. Yeah. Any right. last advice before I get down to business? Semper ubi sabubi. What? Ma'am, what? Okay. All right. I'm <laughs> I'm a little concerned about this one. I will fully admit. Um more concerned about this game than the other ones that I have been. Maybe it'll be fine. Oh. Hitting Guatemala. An interview with Prudence Rutherford. Prudence. I'm sorry. Not prudent. Prudence. Woo. How did New York society women... How did a New York... I can read. How did a New York society woman like yourself end up in Topeka, Kansas? 
My husband, Herbert Laszlo, was a hydro engineer when he got appointed to head up the Kansas River Flood Control Project naturally we came to Topeka. When Herbert drowned... <laughs> when Herbert drowned... Everyone thought I would make a beeline to New York, but after 36 years in Topeka, I just didn't have a, the heart to leave. The truth is, it, this is my home now. Just as an aside, I find it interesting that you never took his name. That was almost unheard of at the time of your marriage, wasn't it? Yes, well, I was never one to worry about conventions. And where I come from, once a Rutherford, always a Rutherford. Will you... Well, you certainly have a, been a trailblazer. I can read. Trailblazer. Now back to Topeka. What about your love for the arts? What in the world do you do for culture and entertainment here? Oh my stars, don't underestimate Topeka, dear. The arts are alive and well here. We have theater, symphony, and over 20 art galleries. I organize the St. Patrick's Day Parade, the Corn Growers Ball, and I sit on the board of Topeka Commission for the Arts, too. This is the capital of Kansas, after all. Mrs. Rutherford, art appraiser, is thrilled to be featuring your fire ruby necklace in this month's issue. Please tell us about this extraordinary piece of jewelry. The necklace originally belonged to Herbert's mother, Hester, rest her soul. We never got along. Oh, but these rubies really did blaze, like a burning ring of fire around her neck. You had the necklace altered when you inherited it, is that right? Yes, well, Hester's spirit was just a bit too overpowering. Yeah, overpowering in the necklace. I felt like I was going to be strangled whenever I wore it, so I decided to add a piece from my own family to balance out the energies and, you know, make it my own. What did... What did... What did she add, though? But what'd she add? I guess we don't know yet. Oh, no. Oh. Topeka Commission for the Arts. How cultured. Ah, uh, there we go. You must be referring to that... <laughs> Johnny Cash's Ring of Fire plays menacingly in the distance. So true. I must have just had to click that. For some reason, Nancy had to acknowledge it. You must be referring to the extraordinary Jade piece. Tell us about it. My great-grandfather... Reflux reflection? R Ruffleton? Ruffleton. I'm like, what is this word? Ruffleton Rutherford was once the, pr the premier archaeologist of his day. This jade carving came from one of his most groundbreaking digs. Wh whoops, no pun intended. At a Maya ruin in the Amazon jungle, I believe the year was 1989. So this is a real Maya artifact. Yes, carved by real Maya hands, and isn't it just amazing to think how many more hands this piece has passed has passed through on its way to the 21st century Topeka. Oh my stars, it gives me goosebumps. Any idea what the sim carving symbolizes? Well, this picture is a glyph. The, in Mayan culture, it stands for a number of things, snake, green, south, and I'm not sure what else. Fascinating, isn't it though? The necklace is one of my most prized possessions. That's why I keep it on at the villa. I just can't bear to have it locked up in some cold bank vault when, where I can never see it or wear it. The insurance company advises me against it, but I tell them jewelry is to be worn and enjoyed, darlings. Don't you agree? Currently, Mrs. certainly Mrs. Rutherford, and now with this article, many more people will be able to enjoy your extraordinary necklace. Thank you for ha finding, taking time to talk to us. The pleasure's all mine. Uh-oh, I think I left the stove on. Some things are still remain beyond our expertise, just not your adventure plans. Yeah, tea outfitters. Great, thank you. Cool. Okay, cool. That's just... Sorry, I'm just trying to get everything in this room. Since we know I suck at these games. <laughs> the Great Palace of something Guatemala I can't read. I will say that's the one thing about having it in windowed mode. Although it runs better, it is sometimes a lot harder to read things. But, sometimes, but the quality drops. Yeah, the bedpost, I know. I need something to get this open. The knob is missing. Nancy. Finding the Maya. Bit? Or maybe... Yeah, bit. That's probably right. Yeah, just smash it. Who cares? Sorry, I was trying to see if I could pick up anything else in the drawer. Just smash it. Who cares? Okay, that's just a really high hitbox for that. I uh, can't look at that pool. There's just like a lot to click. Major contributors to the museum. Topeka Commission for the Arts. 
That's the organization. Oh no. Gosh darn it. Okay, you're right. I'll keep that in mind. You're probably right. I'm just clicking on everything there is to click, just in case. Garden. Oh wait, North Wind God, okay. God of Travelers, okay. We're just gonna have to remember that they're here. Oh God, addenda to the Palenqueo. Monolith loan contract between the Republic of Mexico and Beach Hill Museum, Washington DC, USA. Buddy, this should not be on the floor. The Beach Hill should make two minute payments of uh, 25, $250,000 first being paid upon execution of this contract and be paid 30 days after the delivery of property. The duration of the loan shall be for 90 days from the opening of the exhibit, no more than 200 days total during this period. Of time, Beach Hill shall have the exclusive rights to reproduce images of the property for the following derivative works, postcards, t-shirts, mugs, keychains, and mouse pads. Beach Hill shall assume full liability in the amount of hmm 50, five, from 5 million to 1 million. That's suspicious. Oh, this must be the changes that they wanted made. Next of the day of the year, blah, blah. All right, that's ours now. These are some pretty massive changes that they're making. Those are some pretty, like, only a million if you damage this really important cultural artifacts that's that's weird oh good thing franklin gave me the museum key i i didn't realize that's what that was girl i'm sorry oh put that back oh there's a lot to click oh boy Maya Arts and Crafts. The Maya were renowned for their functional and stylistic expertise in pottery, painting, architecture, and jewelry. Artisans worked with a variety of materials, including clay, jade, gold, limestone, and wood. The variety of tools and materials used by the Maya demonstrate a complex and thriving trade system. Uh, ek, black. Oh boy, you're right. We're gonna have to use these for something, and it's going to stress me out. Sorry, I'm just seeing if there's anything to click. Cool. The ham radio used by the Cortazar Alvarez Palenque Expedition. I don't know if that's how you say those words. I'm so sorry. I can barely pronounce things in English. I'm so sorry. Who were the Maya? The term Maya refers to a group of Mesoamerican Indians from the region of southern Mexico and their northern South Central America, noteworthy for their cultural and scientific achievements from 1800 BCE to 1500 CE. The Maya society is comprised of a complex system of nobility, priests, warriors, workers, and slaves. Jeez, there's a lot to click on in this section. Maya gods. Are y'all having fun? Is this fun for us? <laughs> We're just going on a museum simulator right now. Yeah, yeah, all the changes benefited to the American Museum. Something funky wacky is absolute fucky wacky is absolutely going on with that contract. Um Sorry, I just got a bunch of messages and I don't know if it's important or just about Hades. <laughs> All right, yeah, no. Someone is just sending me a lot of messages about Hades right now. Um, never mind. Religion played an important 
Important role about Maya society. In Maya society. Oh no. All scientific progress was impelled by the priests' need to understand and manage the sacred forces of the Maya universe. Different gods represented different aspects of Maya life, from basket weaving to calendar days. Even today, little is known about the role or names of the god represented in Maya artifacts. I don't know how much of this is like 100% accurate, so I'm just like not going to make any sweeping generalizations because I don't know enough about the Maya. The de deities depicted in this exhibit are rain, moon, and sun. Did Americans learn about Mayans in elementary school? We learned about them, but I do not know. Um, I learned about the Aztecs and the Mayans. And was there another group of... Was there another empire in that region? Inca. Inca. Um, yeah, so we learned about all three. Uh, it depends on what school you went to, though, because in the United States, um, education is not... There's been movements toward it toward this, toward it being standardized across the country, but it's very much dependent on if you went to public school, if you went to private school, and then like what state you went to was like huge. So I learned about the Inca, the Maya, and the Aztec uh, empires. But I, it's been a hot second since it's been a while since I was in school. And I think the last time I would have learned about them would have been my freshman year in high school. So like 2015 maybe. No, 2014. 2014, I think. Uh, end of 2014. We would have learned about them. But I did learn about them. But never, like, in-depth in-depth, because that was, like, all of world history, not just, um, a history class on, like, the Americas. So I don't know a ton a ton. I have a basic knowledge, but not enough to, like, make any commentary on anything happening in this game. I, I don't know that much about the gods either. That's where I would actually know the most, and I don't know a ton. The three masks depict the corn god, Yum Cox, Cakes, the jaguar god, oh god, uh, Splunk, and the sun god, Akin. I don't know how to pronounce these words, I'm really sorry. Uh, calendar stones, limestone, Palanque classic period, beach hold permanent collection. Zulkin? Calendar stones used to compete the 260 day ceremonial year. This is gonna be an, a game where I just wildly mispronounce things and I'm so sorry about that. Maya kings! Maya not only ruled their people's political and military affairs, but their religious practices as well. Kings were considered to be divinely appointed by the supreme god Itzamna. When the majority of kings were male, there were several notable exceptions, including Lady Kanal Ikal, who ruled for over 20 years. Oh god. Pakal, whose name translates to shield, was born in 603 CE and ascended the throne in 615 CE at the age of 12. Considered both a priest, king, and a military ruler, Pakal claimed divine descendant. Nope. Descent and ruled the great Maya city-state of Palenque. Again. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. I'll have to listen for someone to say it. For 66 years until his death in, eight, 680, in 683 CE. The 11th ruler? Is that 11? I think it is. Of Palanquake, Pakal was responsible for major... The majority of the city's constructions, his ancestry and accomplishments are immortalized in Palanquake's temples and palaces, especially in the temple, the temple of the inscriptions, which is the primary sacred site in Palanque. Oh, I'm so sorry if I'm saying this wrong. And later, the shrine for Pakal's tomb. Tomb. Pakal was buried wearing the jade death mask you see here. Right, the mask was meant to distinguish Pakal as royalty even in afterlife. Much of what we know about King Pakal and the Maya civilization over which he presided has been pieced together by translating the glyphic inscriptions on his tomb. In this relief, Pakal's mother offers her son to the divine crown for his entry to the throne, Lady Zak Zakuk. Puck was a powerful figure in Maya history and established the Bacal dynasty. Good for her. This unusual jade relief features an intricate representation of Lord Pakal, one of the greatest rulers of the Maya classical period. Both the origin and function of this highly stylized piece are unknown. <sighs> Deep breath. We're almost done. 
Um, admittedly, my brain is rod with AA, and I forgot that Maya was an ancient civilization, and the first thought I had was Maya Fey. See, I know too many Mayas. Like, my friend is named Maya, my sister is named Maya. I, there's just too many Mayas in my life. That, so there's no one thing I usually think of my sister, I guess? The Maya writing system is the most advanced ever developed in the New World. As with Egyptian hieroglyphics, symbols represent either sounds or concepts. Maya is considered a distinct linguistic group, and several... Oh no. Modern variants exist today, including Kish, Kakchiel, and Ixil? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Maya scribes. Scribes played an important role in Maya culture, and some were elevated to prominent social positions. The Mayan writing system used lo logographs to represent either sound or ideas. Maya numeral notations used both the bar and dot system in pictorial representation of the gods. Maya scribes used a variety of writing tools, inks, and inkwells. Note the logograph for ink inscribed on the plate. Okay, so that's ink. I should have been writing down what we had run into. That would have been like the smart thing to do. So I could... These, these sticky notes suck. Oh my god. They're super old. That's probably why they suck so bad. I've used up most of my sticky notes with zine things, so now I'm at the, the dredges of my sticky notes. So we've definitely seen ink. Um, and then I'll just say, on desk, out front, and then a bunch in exhibit. We're doing real detective work here. Maya customs. Most customs and rituals were based on religious practices and played an important part in Maya daily life. Some, such as the wearing of earrings, are considered by our culture as ordinary, while others, such as bloodletting and human sacrifice, are seen as barbaric. Mm. Not a great word to use. Many ancient Maya customs are practiced today by the indigenous people of Central, Northern Central America and Southern Mexico. <sighs> See, the thing is, Elliot, I actually tend to really not like actual sticky notes when I get them from projects because the glue kind of sucks ass. Um, I will say that the notebook, the notepads I've gotten where it's not sticky notes, where it's just like paper and there's like a strip of glue at the top that they're stuck to and you tear it off, but there's not a sticky section. Those have been fine and those tend to be really high quality. When I get them and they're sticky notes, I have yet to get one where I'm like, this actually sticks. They're kind of shitty. And I don't know which menu people are using, but it's not my favorite. It is not my favorite. Anything to click here? I'm sure there's better ones out there. I just haven't run into them. Uh, body shaping. Replicas of body shaping devices. The Maya uses devices to change their appearances. Cool. Cool. Maya ball game artifacts. Very detailed, thank you. They, they decided to stop writing for that one. Okay. Oh good, this is not going to be confusing to my brain at all. Another fucking circular garden. Carved panel, this limestone panel depicts the pre presentation of three captives to the throne of the, sh of the shield jaguar. Oh, I need the thingy to hear about it. Sorry, I'm just trying to see if there's anything to click. Take that. This altar was dedicated during the reign of the 16th year of Copan Yaxpasa. The focal point of this artifact is a two large two-headed crocodile. This creature is called the Bicephalic Monster, and it represents a continuous cycle of life and death. Cool. Stella of Noble. Little is known about this relief. It depicts a nobleman standing on a captive. Note the elaborate headdress and cape containing the references to Tialok, the rain god. Okay. So I assume this is just a fake in a fake outside inside the building. They wouldn't put these artifacts outside at all. 
The seated figures are a royal couple whose detail is unusual for this area. The function of this artifact is unknown, but many have, but may have been part of a throne. Inscriptions reveal that the piece was dedicated to the goddess of the moon, Ischel. And so we have a throne outside, and it's. These are just going to be really hard if I draw them all because some of them are pretty intricate. Low-key obsessed with this game, just an info dump of Maya lore. Oh, I, I, I'm I into it. Um, I just, I have no idea how accurate it is. I assume they did their research. I'm just like, they're, they, they had to have because they're giving a lot of information. One sec, what is... What is happening? Nothing. Nothing. Sorry, we got- I, I have to keep checking because we, me and Haley and Nella got super, super last minute tickets to six, as in it's on Thursday and we bought them like an hour this ago. This side looks damaged. Nancy Drew, oh. or should I say, Detective Drew. I'm I don't like Sinclair. this guy's face. Hi there. I guess you've done your homework. I was at a meeting with the BOD recently, and I caught wind of your appointment and your credentials. Very impressive, if I do say so myself. Mm -hmm. The BOD? That would be the board of directors, those cranky old cats. They do keep the ducks squared away around here. I'll give them that. So, how's this for a specimen? Ever seen a million dollars worth of rock before? There's, here's the thing. I've never worked in this, in a museum. Um, there's no way this is only a million dollars though. Right? Like there's no way that this was just a million dollars. That would be like, isn't this their big one? There's no way that this is a million dollars, right? Just a million? Maybe. Maybe I don't know enough about what artifacts would cost. I don't know. Anyway, the tie is pretty fun, but that mustache isn't it. You're right. But Beach Hill didn't buy this piece, did they? My understanding was that it's on loan from Mexico. Ouch. Well, they did say you were sharp. Seriously, though, thank goodness you're here. I'm afraid the museum may be in terrible jeopardy. What kind of jeopardy? Joanna told me to butt out, but I'm so fond of Beach Hill, I just hate to see it fall prey to scoundrels. What scoundrels? It's a sensitive subject. Meet me in my office later and I'll explain everything then. You've got me worried. Can't we talk now? Just meet me later. 707 Bing Cherry Boulevard. I've got to go. Enjoy your first day at Beach Hill. Sorry I'm writing that down, even if I don't need to. Ah, <sighs> girl. Interesting. Looks like this side is missing a part. Did I go all the- oh, oh. My goodness gracious, I'm having issues. There's little things on the floor, but I guess I don't get to see that. Did I go this way already? No. Uh, lady- oh god, show? Shock? I don't know. I'm going off the pronunciation. Uh, just to explain where I'm getting some of these pronunciations, is I had, um, there was a girl in my school in high school whose name was Sochi, so that's where I'm trying to get that X sound, but I don't actually know if that's, like, the same language, so it might be, um, dramatically wrong. And by same language, I mean, like, family of languages. I don't know if that's correct. But I, I, I'm fully at a loss for how to pronounce some of these, so I need that guided tour that I can't get because the knob is broken. Uh, this Litten Lintel shows Lady Sock? I don't know. Shield Jaguar's wife celebrating her husband's ascension. I don't feel like reading that. Lady 
Sock kneels uh, with her hoop heel tied around her knees. Z. Zock. Uh, the hui peel is a traditional woven Maya blouse that holds both symbolic and ceremonial significance. The Maya believed that Zibalba. Okay, I feel like I had, I had heard in the past it, it said with an S, and that might have just been people mispronouncing that. Um, holds had magical powers. I really need that guided tour that can just say things for me so I can learn. Instead of being a fool over here. This panel is one of several commissioned by Bird Jaguar and details of his capture of a call or prominent local nobleman. An early Meyer of ruler, Bakhtal Tal, is represented in this stella performing a vision quest ceremony. The vision serpent moves over the king, revealing the ancient spirit that is being contracted. Four miniature gods hang onto the body vision of the onto the body of the vision serpent. I wish I could see these better. I can't see them great. That makes me kind of sad. Uh, this famous British explorer Archibald Rutherford discovered this piece in 1844. Nope, 1884. Huh, within the Palanquay Temple. The text on this lab commemorates Pakal's ascension to Zilkin date of 6 Lamont. Oh, that just says where it's on loan for. Okay, hold on. Let's go back. I wish there were music and not just the ambient sound, admittedly, because while I'm standing here slowly reading all of their very fun plaques that I very much enjoy because I like learning, um, just the critic, cr okay, there's the music, I was gonna say, just the crickets is not doing it. Alright, I was just trying to see if, okay, Nancy, Nancy. There we go. Oh my god. It's locked. It's locked. It needs a card. Alright, we've now seen that it needs a card. Uh, this w nope. Oh my. I keep getting stuck. Do 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 do. Okay, that's fine. Laboratory, and but what's on the other side? What's on the other side, Nance? Shipping, receiving. Auto narrator? The Maya kings oh. were often in a protracted state of war with local Cajals. Here, Bird Jaguar stands to the right as a captured lord kneels <laughs> at his feet. The Cajal holds a broken... Strange, supernatural creatures, sometimes called monsters. I am Lord Pakal, ruler of the mighty kingdom. Sorry, I'm just looking for pronunciations. <laughs> Lady Zack Cook ruled Zach Palenque Cook. before her son ascended the throne Palenque. in 650. Lady Zack Cook ruled Palenque before Palenque. Her. Sorry. The Maya were pantheistic, believing in many gods who ruled over fun? different aspects of Maya life. Chak was Chak. the god of rain. Ishel, Ishel, goddess of the moon, presided over childbirth and Ishel. basket weaving. Ahaukin represented the sun. Ahaukin, okay. Ceramic bowls such um, as the archaeologists work in some of them. Uh, Although the geographic range of uh, the Maya used different methods, uh, Maya scribes recorded the official. Uh, in addition to adorning themselves, the Maya ball game was ritualized bloodletting. The four miniature gods clinging to the vision serpent are the headband twins, Hun Ahau and Balam, Hun, Ahau, and the twins Balam. of sacrificial dance, Chak Shib Chak. And the baby Cha jaguar. The Maya were particularly fascinated Cha with twins, and many of Cha the Maya gods were paired together. I don't know if I said those right, but the we're learning. The date on this slab 
uses the Zolkin or divine calendar Zolkin. made up of Zolkin. strange supernatural creatures. Sometimes I saw that one. The Maya kings were all right. Cool. Uh, I've watched you play so many Nancy games that it it's locked is <laughs> burned into my brain as Nancy's next intonation. Yeah, no, I feel that. I feel that for real. C can we get out of here? Oh, wait, are these different? Ritualized blood. The four miniature gods, the date on- I don't think they're different, but I can play all of them. That's interesting. Lady Zack? That's interesting. Okay. Um. No, 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 Nancy. No, 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 Nancy. Thank you. Um, where'd I put it? Come on, I just had it. This is embarrassing. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Did it fall? Where did my? Oh, there it is. I'm like, where did my notepad go? <sighs> H1430. Oh. oh, three, not three. Oh, this is fine. Um, anything else? No. Ah, BH. Okay, that's not it. Worth a shot, right? Worth a shot. Hello, welcome. It's going okay. We are just like getting started, so you know, clicking around a lot. Oh, I can't read these well. I cannot read those well. Okay, clay, jade, limestone, limestone, and stone. If I have to look at those more later, I will. Oh, wait. That's what's in those things. Isn't it? Oh, so Diego de Landa ornamental carving. Unidentified glyph classic jade is probably in BH113. Okay. That's probably what that is. Um, oh, sorry. I thought I could click those boxes for some reason. Um... Okay, nothing right now. <laughs> Hello, Sarah. Welcome. I hope your night is going a little bit better. Uh, I don't know. We haven't actually gotten to the red hand part yet. Uh, number 1704. 1704. My bad. We have not gotten there. We have learned a lot about the Maya. That's what we've done. We've basically done a little, uh simulated museum visit together as I mispronounced a lot of things sunny stuff well let's just take it yeah it's just been it's just been it's just been me and Elliot on a little museum visit together that's what we've been doing I did steal Sunny's stuff. It's here for me to take. There's never been consequences. If, well, there have been consequences, but I just, th this is just a stealing simulator. In my experience, at least. I admittedly, I was told to do chores, but what said chores are, I think they're in this lab, but like, I don't know. We haven't, we've gone on a whole trip. I need to find another piece. Nance. Oh, they already put it up. Never mind. Okay. Um. Reconstructing art is my dream job. I love watching people, like, re reconstruct paintings and stuff. And I know I could probably never do it, but I love the idea of doing it. Congratulations on your purchase of uh, blah, blah. You don't want me to read this. Four digit number and press connect. Morse code. Oh, okay, so Morse code is important. I'll just write that down. Morse code. I would would love would involve too many science courses and a whole different degree. 
But if not for that, I would do it. I think I'd be afraid of fucking it up, but I would love to do it. I love watching them just put different, like, like, materials on... on canvases. It's so soothing. I love those videos. I really do. They're just so nice. I just realized I hadn't saved and it felt important to do. Uh, cultural center. Can't take this. I love the fact that you can x-ray art and figure out what paint was made of. It's so cool. It really is. Sorry, just making sure there's nothing else on this here disc. I shouldn't be messing around with this without permission. Who cares? Nancy Snoop. It's locked. It's, it's locked. locked. It's locked. I wonder if they re-recorded that each time or if the, I think it's the same the same one. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Do not operate without permission. But what if? But what if? Right, but like, what if? Nancy, what if? What if we did? Okay. Sale on bubble wrap and other packing supplies. Order ASAP. Okay. Microscope. Microscope? Microscope. Okay, we cannot control it right now. There may be have been consequences for stealing, but times they've given you opportunities and encouragement to steal far outweigh them. It, yeah, you're right. You have no voicemail. Press no well, I don't have anyone to call right now. Oh. Oh, assistant curator task. Sort out shards of pottery and reassemble at lab workstation. Switch out plain knobs on display cases with Maya theme knobs. Priority bring addenda to monolith loan agreement to Alejandro Del Rio at the Mexican consult for signature. Order bubble wrap, packing tape, and sticky labels. Match recorded narrations to appropriate displays in the main exhibition hall. You'll need headphones for this. Record Maya numbering exhibits on the main exhibition hall. I didn't hall. finish it yet. I haven't finished that task. I didn't finish it. I'd better check to see if I'm done with that. I'd better check to see okay, if I'm I, done I with I kind of knew we hadn't done anything, but let me take a picture of this because I don't feel like writing it all down, but I am going to forget. Shards of pottery. Very exciting. <laughs> I'm sure you had so much fun with that. Did you guys get your kilns fixed or are you guys still having issues with the kilns? No, that's not something I wanted to do. Knob moment. Perfect. Eat it. Nancy. Oh, property of Sunny June. Oh, I can't read that. I hate that BUL bowl game. It's all random, or is it choosing when I pass from the computer passes? And pieces of porn different than dice, try Pascal's triangle. One and three frequency of two. Aliens did it. The Beach Hill Gang. Get to where Sunny, what's up her sleeve? Saw Sinclair the other day, warning never look directly at Sinclair's tie. That audio narration thingy is gonna be so much work. Luckily, old Hurricane Sunny managed to borrow jo Joanna's note for this project. Note to self, stat must distract Joanna only after her coffee break. Okay, let's see, garden. Must surf web I sure was the lab at a computer. I just have to check out the latest alien adventure games. www.justadventure.com. If only someone would make a game about the Maya and toss in some aliens. Oh, UFOs, of course. 
His museum gig is such a boring job. Uh-oh, gonna find out about the stinky cheese incident. Big trouble now. I wonder who ratted out on me. Must have been Coco Bandit. Whoops. I near here storming some Joanna. Better hide this. Okay, I don't know what this seems like it could be important, but I don't Oh wait, 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 wait. Those are the those are the I have to match up the things to the things. Here. I'm so good at explaining what I'm doing. The things to the things, the recordings. It probably matches up that way. So I'm just taking a picture of it. Instead of drawing it all out. <laughs> Okay, let's step away. Periodic table, awesome. Cool. Very good, very good. You must be Nancy, the new deputy curator. I'm Henrik van der Heun. That's right, I'm Nancy. Joanna tells me you're translating the glyphs on the Palenque monolith. Yes, it's oh, quite I took a, a project. terrible picture, the it's completely of off. What the hell? I'll have to do that after. How's the translation coming along? Fabulous. Just fabulous. Uh, anyway, what can I do for you? I do for you. Did you know the deputy curator who was here before me? Hurricane Sunny? I'm afraid I did. If he wasn't losing paperwork or setting off the fire alarm, <laughs> yeah, he was this guy is muscly. You're right. With his theory that the Maya were abducted by in the uh, I was looking at screenshots of this game last week, and I was like, is he wearing a shirt? Because it's like the it's like so close to skin tone. I'm curious about your work. How do you go about translating a glyph anyway? It can be a complicated process. Involving research, piecing lots of different elements together, and a healthy dose of guesswork. Oh, great. So there isn't a definitive dictionary of Maya glyphs? No, of course there's not, Nancy. Oh, I'm afraid not. You see, glyphs are so intricate and full of subtleties that multiple meanings may be embedded in a single glyph. So three distinct-looking glyphs may all translate to mean sunshine. Roughly, but with different nuances. There is so much we still don't know. Lucky for me, I guess, or I'd be out of a job. Can I give that ham radio a try? Absolutely not. Okay. The radio is a tool, not a toy. One has to be extremely careful about the kind of information one sends out over the airwaves. And I do not have time to monitor you. And besides... The vacuum tubes have been terribly fussy lately. If another one blows, I think I'll go mental. Okay. What is the Spectro X Archeo Analyzer for? It's used for identifying chemical compounds that are found on artifacts, traces of ink, blood, charcoal, and other substances. The beauty of the machine is that it can collect these traces without damaging the artifact in any way. But it cost us a fortune, so don't fiddle with it unless you get Joanna's permission. Joanna turned me loose without too many instructions. Do you have any advice for me? Well, as you've probably heard, the museum is closed in preparation for the exhibit, so you'll have free run of the place. Please explore. The sooner you get to know your way around, the better. Think of the lab as your home base, your center of communications. Anyone who wants to get in touch with you will leave a note or a voicemail here, so check in often. I'm very busy with my work, so you're going to have to be pretty independent, but I suspect okay. you wouldn't have it any other way. See you around, Henrik. Will do. Um... So, that was fun. Um, let's see. Let's let's hang around. Um, I 
I don't think he'll be there at this hour. What time is it? Oh, it's eight at night. <laughs> I don't think he'll be there at this hour. Let's go to my hotel, I guess. Sure, why not? Oh, that was just very slow. I thought it froze and I was about to panic. Um. Okay, that's my phone. There we go. Why not? I don't know. Hello? Hey, Beth. It's me, Nancy. What's new? It's pouring rain. George and I are in the middle of a heated game of Go Fish, and I'm winning. Don't believe a word she says, Nancy. Why are you guys playing Go I'm Fish? Go Fish is boring. Anyway, we don't want to make you homesick. How's the internship going? So far, so good. There's a lot of excitement about the upcoming exhibit, <coughs> especially since we have the Palenque monolith. The who? The monolith. It's a giant block of stone recently excavated from a cave near Palenque in Mexico. Palenque. Apparently it's a very big deal. They think it's 1,500 years old. So, have you seen it? This, uh, monolith? Yeah, it's humongous. Must weigh a ton. Mm -hmm. Like how big? As big as a refrigerator? <laughs> Maybe Bigfoot's refrigerator. Okay. Sorry, Nancy, but... How would a person tell this monolith apart from, say, some other big rock? Well, for one thing, it has Maya glyphs carved into it. Glyphs? Pictures that represent words or ideas, also known as logographs. Joanna says the glyphs might be a message from King Pakal. What kind of message? We don't know yet. Henrik Vanderhune, Beach Hills epigrapher, is working on a translation. Who was King Pakal? He's considered one of the great Maya rulers. He reigned at the height of the Maya civilization. Well, Nancy, you're sounding very curatorial. Very curatorial indeed. We've been worried that you would be a little bored without a mystery to solve, but it sounds like your brain will have plenty to chew on. The whole Maya culture is a mystery to me at the moment. The last thing I'm going to be is bored. I'm sure of that. Speaking of kings... This card game's not over yet, Bess. Okay. Yes, well, I hope you've got plenty of bait for your fishing pole, dear cousin. Okay, you two. I'll call back later. Call back soon. Yeah, and good luck. I don't know who Franklin Rose is, but... Boswell, Jackson, and Rose. May I speak to Franklin Rose, please? Who may I say is calling? This is Nancy Drew. Just a minute, please. Nancy, great to hear from you. Oh, this How's is the, the guy who got us this job. You? Are Joanna and Henrik showing you the ropes? Um. So far, so good, I think. There's a lot of work to do before we launch this exhibit, but somehow we'll pull it off. Glad to hear you're settling in. I'm off to a meeting, but feel free to call me if you have any questions. I'm sure everything's going to be smooth sailing, Mr. Rose. Bye, kiddo. All right, cool. That was pointless. Um, Togo. Dad's friend asked me to volunteer. Oh, wait, these are just my notes. Oh, right, I have a disc. Um, okay, one second. I'm writing things down. Be sure to check in. Already did. Okay, I can't click that fire thing. I need a disc. I need a disc. Oh, that's that's a floppy disc. I guess that's right. Hmm. All right. Um. Sorry, I'm just seeing if I can click anything else in this room. Uh, let's set it to... Seven. Sure, why not? Why not? 
not. I definitely was supposed to order some bubble wrap yesterday, but it's fine that I didn't. Um, it's fine that I didn't. This takes more time than I want it to take. This is a little boring, Nancy Drew. Uh, establishing legal providence. Pro pro providence. It's your duty. I should go to the Pentagon. <laughs> Maybe I should. Uh, anything else I can... Oh, hi, sir. How may I help you? Um, let's just... Hi, I'm Nancy I don't feel Drew, like speaking the in Spanish. The new deputy Spanish. curator I... over at Beach Hill. So, you're Joanna Riggs' newest pirate in training. How does it feel to join the ranks with the modern-day conquistadors? Conquistadors? You had better brush up on your history, young Girl. lady. Girl. <laughs> Spanish Nancy's over here like, what's a conquistador? Mexico, like, Nancy. They became known as Nancy. the conquistadors, or conquerors. They robbed the indigenous peoples of their wealth, not just their gold, but Go their off. artwork, their sacred objects. Anything they did not steal, they burned to the ground. Um. I don't like any of- I don't like either of these answers, because I'm like, yeah, you're correct. Like, you're right. Do you blame modern-day art collectors? Yeah, you can. Because they're continuing it. Like, Alejandro's in the right on this one. My guy is just correct. Alejandro, I understand that many crimes were committed in the name of exploration, but that was hundreds of years ago. What does this have to do with Beach Hill? It's got There's a lot more. to do with it. In the 19th century, archaeologists discovered the ruins of ancient civilizations predating even the Aztecs. Many of the dig sites were robbed, and the stolen artifacts were sold off to art museums and collectors around the world. Today, finally, it is illegal among most civilized nations to remove an artifact from its native country. But sadly, there are thousands of precious antiquities with highly questionable provenance floating around the Western world. This what conversation makes me so uncomfortable. Give me more provenance. choices, please. An artifact's provenance is the story of its origin and ownership. For example, how it made its way from a temple at Chichen Itza to a museum in Washington, D.C. If the artifact's provenance reveals that it has been stolen, then that artifact must be returned to the country of its origin. I like this guy. <laughs> then the relics at Beach Hill must all be legitimate, right? No, not at all. Provenance documents are often tampered with or forged to cover up the theft. Because of this, thefts continue and a great deal of art is moved on the black market, even today. Unethical art dealers and greedy museum curators do nothing to stop this. And to you, these people are no better than pirates, is that right? If Joanna Riggs or that overstuffed pillowhead Sinclair had any decency, they would take measures to see that all Maya artifacts were returned to Mexico at once where they belong. And what if these measures are not taken? My country will have its due, Nancy, even if I have to begin reclaiming its artifacts with my own two hands. I like this guy. <laughs> I'm into it. <laughs> I admire your conviction, Alejandro. Yeah, good for him. Uh, Do for it. Start stealing from them. Who gives a shit? Here on loan from Mexico. I am still not happy that such a rare find will have its debut exhibition on American soil. But in my country, too, there are people for whom money talks. I will take those documents now. Thank you. I have some business with Joanna at the museum later, so I will return the contract to her then, after I have looked it over. Actually, Alejandro, I think I'm... Yeah, can we help him instead? I wish. Myself. You may consider your mission accomplished. Well, uh... 
Okay then. Goodbye. They're totally screwing over the Mexican. Um, I don't know who owns, who actually owns it, but they're totally screwing them over. Like completely and totally screwing them over. It's not cool. It's really crazy. It's really just. It's not great. Let's snoop around this guy's office. Oh, I can't. I can't. Never mind. Oh, what the? What the? What is this? Nothing I can click on. I mean, I don't actually have to navigate it. I it's just have to click time. the button this time. Oh, my fears are like maggots infesting my poor old carcass. Want a cookie? They're from Oaxaca. I want a cookie no, so fucking you. bad, dude. Hill is in I want a cookie so bad. We don't have mom. any. The we might have some ice cream. I'll have to eat it after Nancy. before bed. Prudence Rutherford. A major patron of the arts had her fire ruby necklace stolen from yeah, her well, villa in Topeka. Two weeks later, a whole display case full of rare Maya artifacts was heisted from a museum in New Mexico. Do you think there's a connection between I the want two a cookie so bad, Who Sarah? Knows? I'm just telling you, this community, our friends and colleagues, my people are being systematically trounced by thugs. Who's to say Beach Hill won't be next? You've got to do something. Yeah, same. I'm glad the lady got her ne necklace stolen, but not the Mexican Beach museum. Does that security that's... system in place? The museum has a basic alarm system. What are we supposed to do? Are you going to hire us? Is he going to pay us money I've for urged this? Joanna to approach the board about making some security upgrades, but she just keeps saying that the timing isn't right to ask for money. Like, here's the thing. Here is the thing. Are they going to fucking pay me? Because I am so sick of Nancy Get doing unpaid labor for these museums and random people. And, like, a lot of them are, like, rich, too. Like, that rich lady in Venice or whatever. No, that was, a, that was a spy mission, I guess. But we've done a bunch where it's like, can you guys fucking pay me? Because you're also making me act as a cook. So you don't have to pay a cook. With so much writing Excuse on this me? exhibit? How can that be? Who knows? So, you're looking for a state-of-the-art detective? We need your eagle eyes. We need your bat ears. We need you to sniff out the stink of trouble. Um... I appreciate the vote of confidence, but I'm just a detective, you know. I'm not bionic. Don't play modest mouse with me. Uh... <laughs> modest mouse? <laughs> Most people call me Nosy Parker. But anyway, tell me something about the art business. Is that a contemporary painting? You bet your socks it is. Would you believe I dug it up in my backyard? What? No, but I could humor you. What is happening? I guess that would make the painting a genuine artifact. How about that rubber shark? The artist's name is Poppy Dada. She's a teenager in South Dakota. The art world is going bananas over her stuff. I'll unload that one for some serious dinero. One sec. Is Poppy Dada her real name? I don't know. Okay, um... Joanna says you performed an act of wizardry in helping Beach Hill acquire the Pakal carving. Getting those provenance docks together was a pig and a half. Oh, they're on the up and up, I assure you. But ah, uh, to have been at the height of my career back before the crackdown, those were the days. What crackdown? Maybe sometime I'll tell you a sad story I call How Mexico Lost Its Sense of Humor. Oh, no. Not today, though, Nancy. I'd better get going. No, Nancy, Keep fuck. I didn't click work. that. I just hovered. What's up? Seen anything suspicious? When you sell a piece of art, 
What kind of commission do you get? Standard, 10%. It's no king's ransom. Unless, of course, you sell something for a million bucks. Too bad I'm not allowed to put that monolith on the market, huh? Alejandro says you're unethical, a modern-day conquistador, that you're robbing Mexico of its cultural history. <laughs> and I say Alejandro is the real bully of the playground, a lunch money extortionist who loves nothing more than to see the other boys and girls go hungry. Uh, okay. Cringe of you to say, but okay. Um, one second. I'm just sending a message. Love how much zine stuff I'm working on at once. Okay. I'd better get going. What time is it? Thanks for stopping by. 9 a.m. Perfect. That's not too bad. Let's, uh, order some bubble mailers, which is what I do every day. Every day of my life, I'm just ordering more fucking bubble mailers. All the DGS ones had to go on hold, and the Dadworth ones, because I was waiting for. Bubble mailers! We love to see it. And by love to see it, I mean I'm so fucking tired. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Nance. Okay, um, yes. Come in. Um, how are the tasks coming along? When did Henrik come on board? I got an email from him one day saying he heard the news about Beach Hill getting the monolith. That's so he said he'd again every so to suspicious. Come here and translate those glyphs. He was even willing to take a pay cut. What could I say except giddy up? You're hired. Just as suspicious as in the haunted mansion one where all the people just started showing up like guys. Where was he working before? At the Chaco Canyon Cultural Center in New Mexico. Okay. Do you think Alejandro would go to extreme measures, like stealing, to reclaim Mexico's artifacts? Who knows? Um, we've got work to do. I've got work to do. Go to it. Okay. Um. Boop-ba-doop-boop-ba-doop. -boop -ba -doop. How do I get out of here? There we go. Uh, yes, this way. No, fuck, no. Shit. Sorry. I'm sorry. I have to take a better picture of this. This. Camera. Because I fucked it up last time. <sighs> there we go. See if that came out. Good enough. Good enough, good enough, good enough. Oh, fuck. Uh, I didn't write it down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Five, nine, nine, six, three. Oh, uh, I don't think I'll actually need to write it down, but B H one one nine K. I'll need to call and then, uh, you have no voicemail. Oh, fuck. You have... Fuck, I fucked it up. Damn it. Six, three. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm you so bad no at this. 
Jesus Christ. One of these games will get through an entire... Maybe I don't need it? I didn't finish it. How yet. do I fucking call? Five 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 nine nine six three. You have no. I do not understand that function. You have no. Silvio's curatorial bonanza. May I speak to Silvio Jr., please? This is Silvio Jr. What can I do for you? Are you still having a sale on packing supplies? That's right. 30% off on bubble wrap, foam peanuts. That Every sounds really nice. Day, can I get it on that? Boxes, can I can I get it on that for my next coming project? Last, of course. Have you ordered from us before? Uh, yes, I think so. We have an account number. Okay, good. That saves me a lot of paperwork. What's the account number? Cool, I didn't write it down. BH one one nine K. BH one one. BH one one nine K. Beach Hill. Are you serious? That's right. I'm the new deputy curator, Nancy Drew. Well, whoop de do. It's Nancy Drew. But Silvio's curatorial bonanza no longer does business oh with boy. Beach Hill. I've sent all six of the outstanding invoices to a collection agency. Oh boy. And you jokers won't get another packing peanut out of Silvio Jr. ever. Do not call here again. Well, that's awkward. I'd better check to see if I'm done with that. I'd better check okay, to see if okay, I'm Nancy, done with okay, that. Okay, okay, Nancy. Okay, okay, okay. Beach Hill's been hit. Sit tight, Nancy. The Fuck. police are on their I way. didn't get to do my jobs. <laughs> I didn't get to do my job. My chore simulator has been canceled. Oh my god, guys! Over an hour in, we finally got a red hand! I should talk to Joanna before I touch anything. Nancy, who gives a shit? Start touching! Fuck it! Who gives a shit? Start touching things! Alright, fine. Let's go talk to Joanna. Uh, uh, uh. Whatever. Oh. I think the real Nancy Drew would just start touching shit. I firmly believe Nancy would just start sh touching things. She loves to touch things and nose around and steal. Come in. Someone has cooked up my worst nightmare and served it to me on a plate. I'd like to have a look at the crime scene myself. Did the police turn up any clues? The police took some samples for the crime lab, but they couldn't promise any overnight results. So if you want to put your little magnifying glass up to the scene, it's fine with me. Sorry, I just got a, I got a notification in a mod server that, um... There's a there's an app that is allowing you to schedule threads, which is very exciting. Uh, you would still have to do Instagram manually, but ooh. Anyway, um, what were their initial findings? Who knows? Right now, my priority is to get a move on this insurance claim. I've got work to do. Bye. 
Um. Hmm. Yeah. Let's just go. I love that we're just touching this. Oh, we just took it? That is hilarious. That's fucking hilarious. Nancy, you are so funny. She goes from, I don't think we should touch this, to just taking evidence from a crime scene. <laughs> go, girl, go. Oh my god, Nancy, you're so fucking funny. Where's the numbers? Ah, just there we go. One more tile. Okay, so I have to fucking find it, and I don't know Just where it one is. More tile. So I need to find a shard of pottery. Yeah, fuck the police. So I need to find... Uh, we're making a list at the top of this. To find... Pottery. And number. So we can't complete that until I do that. Alright. Did I have any numbers I wrote down? Let's see. Yeah, I didn't think so. Sorry, I very suddenly needed to sneeze. All right, um. All right, nothing there. Okay. Um. Maybe I should go do. Oh wait, no, that was in the other room. Haha, uh -huh, sorry. Um, let's see, let's see. The Maya use different ma Oh, I should probably, I probably have to go out and actually like listen to some of it. It probably needs me to do that to activate it, huh? Oh, water. What is... Oh, I just have, like, packing tape on me. That's fun. That's good for me. Oh, god. No, I want to go this way. Oh, my god. Okay, there we go. We're at the beginning again. When do I... Ceramic bowls, such as the one featured in this exhibit, may have been used as vessels for burnt offerings of incense or corn. All right. This bowl was either dedicated A to or ceramic. used to the god of war, Balak. Bowls. Is this a ceramic bowl such as the one featured in this exhibit may have been used as vessels for burnt oh, no, this is L. incense or corn. This bowl was either dedicated to or used to supplicate the god of war. Got it. Thank you, ma'am. Wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, the Maya used different methods to represent eight. numbers. Here is an example of the numbers from 0 to 19, from top left to bottom right. 
Notice how some numbers are represented with bars and dots, and some are represented with pictures. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, I understand what's going on now. Okay, so uh, the Maya use different this methods one to represent be... numbers. Here is an example of the numbers from Tools zero of to the nineteen, trade. from mm, top so left ham. to bottom right. Notice how some numbers. Sorry, are this is going to be very annoying. I think and some while I fix this. This is, I think, going to be probably really annoying, especially since Ceramic we already read all of this. Such as the one featured in this exhibit, this one is... may have been used as vessels for okay, right. offerings of incense or corn. This bowl was either dedicated to or used to supplicate the god of war, Balak. Ceramic bowls, such as the one featured in this exhibit, may have been used as vessels for burnt. Okay, so I think that one is okay. This one is going to be, uh, I. Oh, wait, nope. Uh, there we go. Nope. Uh, the Maya there we go. were pantheistic, believing in many gods who ruled over different aspects of Maya life. Chak was the god of rain. Ishel, goddess of the moon, presided over childbirth and basket weaving. A how kin represented the sun. The Maya were pantheistic. This is a little broken. In many I gods think. who ruled over different aspects of Maya life. Chak was the god. This of seems to be a little bit broken, but it's okay. Lady Zach Cook ruled Palenque before her son ascended the throne in 615 is... CE. Maya tradition required that the kingship mm -hmm. be handed down from father to son, but Lady Zach Cook broke this custom by establishing herself as a deity. Yeah. This gave her the power to justify the new royal lineage. Because his mother... I am Lord Pakal, ruler of the mighty kingdom of Palenque. All those who come before me Good witness voice my power. This is e. Lord Pakal is considered the most influential ruler of the Maya civilization. Cultural, scientific, and military achievement flourished under his reign. As with all Maya kings, very little is known about his personal life, since all written inscriptions dealt solely with public achievements. Such I don't as know wars. if that one's right, but it's about the same thing, so let's go with probably yes. Strange, supernatural creatures, sometimes called monsters, played an important role this in one Maya should mythology. Be, uh, These monsters were often associated Maya with the numbers. earth, caves, or mountains. The bicephalic mon Maya scribes recorded the official history of the kings that and queens, B, but so very little is known about Maya daily life in the Maya world. Scribes. Although there are thousands of inscriptions found on artifacts and architecture, there are only a handful of Maya books and this one is... The date on this slab uses the Tzolkin, or divine calendar, made up of 20 Those weeks G. each with a named day, and 13 and weeks each with a numerical shaping. day. The two types of weeks progress independently of each other. The date on this slab uses the Tzolkin. And then this the Maya ball is... game was a religious activity as well as a spectator sport. And... Players would propel a rubber ball through a small stone ball hoop game. using their thighs, hips, and forearms. I do know it about is believed this ball that game. All right, now we have to go outside. Come on. Thank you. So, this one is D. The date on this slab uses the Tzolkin or divine calendar uh, made up of 20 weeks each with a named day this D? and 13 there weeks a D each with a numerical day the two types of weeks oh, progress wait, independently oh, of each other the date on this slab uses the tzolkin or divine calendar made up of 20 weeks each with a named day and 13 weeks each with a numerical day the two types of weeks progress independently Field. of each other jaguar The date on this I know. Archaeologists work in some of the most remote areas of the world. Ham radios are often the only means of contacting Walter. the outside world. 
HAM is an acronym for Handheld Amateur Radio. Oh, Archaeologists work in some of the most remote areas of the I world. know! HAM radios are often um, the only means of contacting Goodness the gracious. This one is... Not named because it doesn't have a thing on it. Okay, then why? How come only some of these have audio? That's weird. No, no, Nancy, get away from it. We're gonna get stuck. This is nothing. The Maya kings were often in a protracted state of war with local kahals. Here, Bird Jaguar stands to the right as a captured lord Bird. kneels at his feet. Jaguar. The Kahal I think that one's holds right. a broken umbrella, a gesture <laughs> Um, <laughs> bye, Elliot. Uh, I'll see you next week for hopefully less the museum. The gods clinging to the vision servant ah. the headband twins, Hun Ahau and Balam, and the twins of sacrificial dance, Chok Shibsh Chok, and the baby Jaguar. The Maya were particularly fascinated with twins, and many of the Maya gods were paired together. The four miniature gods clinging to the vision serpent are the headband twins, Kun Ahau and Balam, and the twins goodness. of sacrificial dance, Chak Shi. And then this is the last one, I think. No, it's not. Where's the last one? In addition to adorning themselves with jewelry and costumes, the Maya shaped their bodies to heighten Rutherford. their beauty. Beads were dangled in front of infants' faces to encourage crossed eyes, a trait considered attractive oh to the Oh my goodness In addition gracious. to adorning themselves with jewelry and- Okay, got it. Wow. Oh my god. How'd y'all mess this up so bad? Okay, we have to listen to more of it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, so A should be the ham radio one. The Maya used di Although the geographic archaeologists Here, work you know what? Let's just number it right now. I am Lord Pakal, ruler of the mighty kingdom of Palenque. All those who come it's before one. me with Lady Zack Cook ruled Palenque before her son ascended the throne in 615 CE. Maya tradition. The Maya were pantheistic, believing in many gods who ruled over different aspects of Maya life. Chak Three. was the god of ceramic bowls such as the one featured in this exhibit ceramic may have bowls. been used as vessels for burnt offerings of incense <laughs> or corn. Archaeologists work in some of the most remote areas of the, the world. Remote areas Ham of the radios world. are often the only means of contact. Although the geographic range of Maya cities is well known, it is difficult to determine the range of Maya influence. Some experts I don't know what the one Maya that one may have traveled to. as far south as the Amazon and as far north as the Maya used different methods to represent numbers. Here is an example of the numbers from 0 to 19, from top left to bottom. Maya scribes recorded the official history of the kings and queens, but very little is known about daily life. In addition to adorning themselves with jewelry and costumes, the Maya shaped... The Maya ball game was a religious activity as well as... Some of these are just straight up in order. Ritualized bloodletting was a common practice among the Maya. In this panel, three captives wear garments associated with bloodletting. A variety of instruments including The four miniature gods clinging to the vision serpent are the headband twins, Hun Ahau and Balam, and the twins of sacrificial dance, Chak. The date on this slab uses the Tzolkin, or divine calendar, made up of 20 weeks each. Strange supernatural creatures, sometimes called monsters, played an important role in Maya mythology. These monsters were often associated with the earth. The Maya kings were often in a protracted state of war with local kahals. Here, Bird Jaguar stands to the right as a captured 15, lord kneels at his. 15, 14. 
The date on this slab uses the Tzolkin or divine calendar we can made up of for 20 these weeks two. each with a named day and 13 weeks each with a numerical day. The two types strain the four miniature gods Ritualized bloodletting was a common practice among the Maya. In this panel, three captives wear garments associated The Maya ball game was a religious activity as well as a spec My god. Okay, let's see if how much of this I can do. So A should be five. B should be eight. C should be fourteen. Strange supernatural. Strange supernatural. D should be seven. E should be one. F should be... I don't know what the fuck one was F. Which one was F? I straight up don't know where F is. Oh, did I not grab F? Shit, I don't think I grabbed F. But that might explain some things. Alright, let's go back. I fucked up. My bad. I'm sorry. Um, where's that? F is down here. Although the geographic range of Maya cities is well known, it is difficult to determine the range of Maya influence. All right, cool. Some That's good. Believe the Maya. We're just gonna say F is good. I'll write it down. F good. Ah! I'm so ready to be done with this section. It's just a very tedious, like, way to, like, make you match things, isn't it? Put that away. Although the geographic range- Alright. How do I get to the center? There we go. Uh, G should be- I don't blame you, it feels like a 7th grade history project. It does, doesn't it? G should be body shaping, which is 9. In addition to- a Yep. H is for jaguar. The Maya kings were often in a- I is Maya gods. The Maya. J. Rutherford. In addition to adorning themselves with jewelry and costumes- I didn't know which one this costumes, was. The Maya ball game. Ritualized bloodletting. The four miniature guy. The date on this slab. Strange. The Maya king. I am lord. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try six. Although the geographic nope. range of Maya. This one is six. Seven. The Maya used. Maya scribe, in addition to adorning the Maya ball game with ritualized blood, the four miniature gods clinging to the vision serpent are the headband twins. I'll just star this one because I don't know what that one is. <laughs> you having fun? I'm not. K is vision serpent. Which should be 12. The four miniature gods clinging to ceramic bowls, such as the one featured in this exhibit, may have been ceramic bowls. M should be two. Lady Zach. O should be. The date on this slab uses the sure. Zulkin. Um, N should be 10. The Maya bowl. 
M should be two. Lady Zach. Okay, let's just see. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sarah. So let's just see which ones didn't get, which one, five. So five got used, five, eight, 14. Five, six. here, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna write down the numbers, one to 15, so I can cross them off. So we can figure out what this last goddamn one is, so. Five, eight, 14, seven, one, that looks a lot like seven, six, get me out of here, nine, 15, three, 12, four. Oh, I shouldn't have crossed off 12. Well, two. 10, 13, which one was 11 then? There should be 50. Ritualized bloodletting was a common practice among the Maya. In this panel, three. None of them got repeated though. Two, 10, 13. 12. Oh, that's 12. Okay, that would be why. The four miniature gods clinging to the vision serpent are the headband. 11, 12, 4, 9, 15, 3, 7, 1, 6, 5, 8, 14. I think that should be good now. Hypothetically, that's all set. Let's see if it'll click off. I guess. That's the only way. Ugh, shit, I can't play with his stuff. I shouldn't be messing around with this without permission. Damn it, Nancy! It's locked. God damn it, girl. I'd better check to see if I'm done with that. I'd better check to see if I'm done with that. I'd better check to see if I'm done with that. I'd better check to see if I'm oh done with that. Oh my god. Okay. Nancy, something's come up and I'll be gone through it. Your mission in the meantime. Run through the temple activities to verify all questions can be answered based. We don't. What activities? What temple activities? I'm gonna lose my mind for real, guys. I can't handle it. Did I do it right or not? What temple activities? What the fuck are you talking about? Come in. Need something? Have you seen Henrik? I found oh a piece of paper God. inside the Pakal display case. It had some glyphs on it and a print of a red hand. I'm hoping he can give me a translation. What am I, fish food? Henrik's not the only one around here who can read a glyph, you know. Okay, great. Did you happen to see the thief's message? The police showed me the note. It said, the magician suffers yellow death, whatever that means. Apparently, the thief just couldn't come up with the glyphs for the curator suffers flaming purple disgrace. Can you explain how you want me to reorder that Maya numbering exhibit? Check with Henrik on that. I'm curious about the red handprint the thief left. 
Does it have any significance in Maya culture? Afraid I can't help you there. What I want to know is what the hand was printed with. It's obviously not finger paint. Why don't you do a little analysis on it in the lab? I haven't seen Henrik since the theft. Maybe they want you to do some Where ritualized do bloodletting at the temple. Who Maybe. Knows? Fuck. Who, who, who knows? Who knows at this point? Like, shit. Fuck. Whatever. I'm so tired. I wish I could cross something off my goddamn list. Let's <sighs> turn around, go back there. Nope, shit, fuck, god damn it. Fifteen, three. Ritualize blood. The date on this slab. I'm just switching two of them. The poor miniature gods clinging to ceramic. Because these were the two that I wasn't sure about. So we're just switching. There. That looks like it's in order. There we go. Thank God. Jesus Christ. I had mar Thank God I'd marked down which two I wasn't sure about so I could just flip them. I'm really struggling in this game, huh? Aren't I? <laughs> I'm having issues. Um, I can't find those. I need the pieces. The piece of that and I need the piece of the number thing. Um, great. Okay, um. You have voicemail. Nancy, hi. It's Franklin Rose. I'm calling because it's just... This theft is very bad news for the museum. You can't imagine the limb we went out on to acquire that Pakal carving. Jesus it's been Christ. one of the museum's main attractions. Oh my god, dude. Um, I don't want to take you away from your internship, but if you can do a No, like fucking pay me. Well, pay me. I think I speak for the whole board when I say we'd be very grateful. Give me a call when you have a chance. And Nancy, thanks. To replay messages, press zero. Press nine for an outside line. Zero. Nancy, hi. It's Franklin Rose. I'm no, I, oh, I should have hit nine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have to listen to this. bad news for the museum. You can't imagine the limb we went out on to acquire that Pakal carving. It's been one of the museum's main attractions. Um, I don't want to take you away from your internship, but if you can do a little investigating, well, I think I speak for the whole board when I say we'd be very grateful. Give me a call when you have a chance. And Nancy... Thanks. To replay messages. I'm sorry, I didn't want to play that. I'm just bad at this game. Boswell Jackson and Rose, how may I direct your call? This is Nancy Drew. Calling for Franklin Rose, please. Just a minute, please. Nancy, hello. Do you have any news? Um. Nothing definitive yet. But I'm beginning to identify my suspects. Oh, Nancy, you zero in on a case like a heat-seeking missile, don't you? Can you I please pay so me money? I feel better knowing you're going to follow up on every lead. Please? I'll help in any way I can. Can you give me money? Thanks, Mr. Rose. That's what I'm here for. <sighs> cool. Alright, let's... Test? What time is it? It's only like three. That's not bad. She said to do some analysis. What the fuck does that mean? Hey, lady, what the fuck does that mean? I need to find another piece. Ew. 
It's locked. It's locked. All right, that's not it. That was, I had to try, I had to try. Like, what does she mean by testing it in the lab? Because I can't do anything. I don't think I can anyway. I'm looking at my list of things I have to do. I have to find two pieces, which I haven't been able to find, and I have to... Um... Sorry, I'm like... I'm looking at a thing because I don't know what to do, okay? I don't know what to do. That big blue machine. Go straight ahead to the spectro analyzer. This seems not great. I didn't realize I had to press the on button. That was on me. This is fun. Okay, I've got a graph of the chemical used for the handprint. Now I've got to match it up with a known substance. That's it. Does this update? No. I'd better check to see if I'm done with that. I'm not. You're not, Nancy. I know we're not. I know we're not. Wait. Sorry, I was told to look at something and I can't remember what it was. Da 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 da. Okay. I can't believe I needed a walkthrough to tell me to hit an on button. That is, oh. Uh, I didn't know we could come in here. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't know, man. I don't... It needs a card. <laughs> it was worth a fucking shot. <laughs> it needs a card. I don't know. I just straight up don't know, and I don't feel like going back and writing it down right now because we are, like two hours into stream and I am not doing that. I'm sorry. I should put in my temple key card. This one's ink.
Okay, Ink and Road. Nope. Ink Road 19. North. No. <laughs> Ink Road 19. Oops. Ink. 19. North. We got it. <laughs>
in present day Mexico. Oop. Oh, this is all over the place. That's on me. I'm sorry for not remembering it. I do remember this. Um... Like, this absolutely all is in the, um, exhibit. Oh, I didn't put in my card. LOL. Um, one sec. Lady. These are all in the exhibits, but we've been through all of them and I didn't take notes. And that would just take a lot of time for me to go back and find them all. Probably not. I could probably, um, I could probably figure it out. I'm not gonna lie, but that just is so much work. It's locked. Girl, you just closed it, that's why. This is a really weird thing to have in your museum. I'm gonna be real with you. Like, this is a really strange thing to have in your museum. What if we had- oh, uh... I don't know. We have not reached that point yet. Oh my god, we're not doing this right now, are you kidding me? I'm trying to see if I could find that other number stone. It's locked. This is like a really weird thing to be in a in a in a in a in a, in a, in a museum. Six is too high. Is this fun for anyone else? Is this fun or no? We've moved further back. Um. Oh, but we're going up a hill. Nice. So we're at the highest, you gotta use low, but we're very far away, so let's use six. Fantastic, oh hi. All right, I'll do the rest of these later because clearly like that's part of this game, but um, we got like pottery to do and stuff. Oh. The God of the Underworld, Destroy of Life, oh, well. Just kidding, I don't get to read these. A skeletal figure with rotting flesh! Wow, notice the exposed jawbone. 
Seals the bones and eyeballs of the dead to wear its jewelry. Wow. Marked by the death sign. Black spots are showing the infestation of disease. Flesh. Oh no. Oh no, this animation sucks. This animation is really bad. Wow. Oh, that wasn't actually next. Okay. Wow, that was bad. That was really bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was mean. But that was really bad. That wasn't great. Oh, man. Let's put together this fucking... They paid an animator two cents in a piece of lead. Ugh, oh, so true. Always pass by my goddamn desk. Uh... There, now I can start putting this together. Ah, there we go, okay. This is very difficult. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, this is hard to figure out how to move. This is not like the best 3D puzzle setup. It's actually a pretty shit 3D puzzle. Yeah, she really must. I wonder if I could get a job if I had her resume. I can promise you this. This pot no way this pottery is just hanging out like this. That's done. No fucking way. There's no way they would have Nancy Drew of all people reconstructing an ancient vase. Okay. What time is it? Six? Well, let's see if she's still here. So we should really tell her that we uh, found stuff and then just got wildly distracted playing games. Yeah, a girl doesn't not wearing gloves. She doesn't have hands. It's locked. It's locked. Nope, girl. Girl went home. All right, that's it for the day. At this museum, we call it quits at six p.m. Let's go home. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. To the hotel! I'm not gonna play that much longer because I'm kinda tired, but to the hotel! Actually can use this floppy. I need a disc. Bitch, it is a disc. I need a disc. Oh, I was putting it in the wrong thing. Ha ha. Uh, I, I looked up what this was because I couldn't be bothered. Honey, just done. I had phones. Oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. They just tell you shit. Oh, I still have to remember. I'm reading this myself. I'm sorry. I don't want to... 
Um, read this out loud right now. Of course, Sarah, I'll talk to you later. I'm probably only gonna play for another like 10 minutes because I am getting very sleepy. So. No, we did get that Maya, but it is kind of funny that they did two, that they did the Maya one where Maya, a person named Maya got kidnapped uh, right before uh, this one. I think that's kind of funny. I'm gonna talk to this guy. God, this takes forever. I'm gonna eat candy while we wait. <laughs> yes, very Ace Attorney of them, you're correct. Hello, Nancy. Why did Mexico choose to lend the monolith to Beach Hill and not some other museum? Johanna Riggs outbid everyone. I had no idea a small museum like Beach Hill could afford such an expensive arrangement. Do you know much about Maya glyphs? You've got me there. I know Spanish, English, Portuguese, and several indigenous languages, including a quiche and Nahuatl, but I have yet to learn the language of glyphs. All right. Have you heard that the call carving was stolen from the museum? Well, I heard the alarms going off, but it wasn't until Henry called me that I heard the news. Henrik called you? When? Where was he? I've been looking for him. He called shortly after the robbery. I presumed he was calling from the museum. Is that so strange? So, you were in the museum at the time? I was dropping off the monolith agreement for Johanna, as I said I would. Did you see anything suspicious? I was running late. I just figured somebody tripped a wire and I kept going. Whew. Hmm. It's odd that I didn't see you. I was there on business, Nancy, not for tea. Don't you care about the disappearance of such a rare Maya artifact? That artifact was lost to me as soon as he'd left Mexican soil. So my friend Pakal goes underground for a while until he is sold again. Suddenly, he turns up in Amsterdam or Hong Kong. Unless he is rightfully repatriated to Mexico, what's the difference? I should get back to no, the museum. No, that's not what Goodbye. I wanted to click, Nancy Buenos Drew. Dias. Do you consider Henrik a conquistador, along with Joanna Riggs and Sinclair? Henrik is a student of my culture and my heritage. I'm not trying to buy and sell it. We don't agree on everything, especially not baseball, but I have nothing against him. One sec, I'm replying to something. One sec. I hate writing on my phone. Okay. <sighs> cool. I should get back to the museum. Goodbye. I love how I was like, I'm only gonna play for a few more minutes and then proceeded to like not play the game, which was very cool and fun and not annoying of me. So let me just uh, play for a few more minutes because that's on me. I should have just like said, I'm gonna be done now, but I checked my phone because things were slow and that 
I get distracted. It's a fiasco, just as I feared. Oh, I'm sick, sick, sick about the whole okay. thing. I see you've spoken with Joanna. I was in the museum when it happened. Have you spoken to the police? I told them everything I know. I mean, I coughed up my brains right there on the table. So, do okay, you think I've never heard that before. In Topeka and New Mexico? That awful red hand was left on Prudence Rutherford's jewelry box in Topeka and on the display case in the museum in New Mexico. What's the chance they're not connected? Do you know Prudence Rutherford personally? Oh, we saw each other at functions now and then. Poor Prudence. She yeah, I don't really care. I'm necklace. sorry. That's mean. What's the name of the museum in New Mexico? The Chaco Canyon Cultural Center. They had a beautiful collection up there, worth a bundle, too. I appraised some pieces for them a few years back. Hmm. One second. There's just so many things going on. Always. Why do you think the thief is I'll leaving go till his red handprint? To be a gruesome scoundrel? The Bacall Thief's glyph message translates to The Magician Suffers Yellow Death. What in the world do you think that means? You've got me there. All right. I'd better get going. Keep up the good work. Okay. To the museum. I couldn't find it on the map. It always takes us so long to get from place to place. Where are my keys? <sighs> I need to speak to you first. Come in. Need something? Apparently, a Topeka woman named Prudence Rutherford has recently been visited by a red-handed thief, too. Do you have any idea how I might get in touch with her? Afraid I can't help you there. I've got work to do. See you around. But we already looked at the... Need something? Uh, I've got work to Maybe do. Maybe I have to go, go to do it. it again? Because we matched up the thing. stands for sulfur. Oh, is that what that... Did I have to do that before talking to her? Need something? Oh, God I've damn it! Work to do. Carpe diem! Hold on, I'm looking at it because I don't know why. HG. I need to get HG too. So I only got part of it to activate. Oh, god damn it. Fine. 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 
According to this chart, HG, so the handprint was made from mercury and sulfur. There we go. I love just not clicking in the right spots. That's very good for me. Very good for me. Where the... where... There it is. Hello? Need something? I did the chemical analysis you go. suggested. That red hand was printed with a compound containing okay. mercury and sulfur. Does that mean anything to you? Sure, sure, cinnabar. The Maya would rub it into their most important carvings to add definition to the artist's lines. Where would a person get a supply of cinnabar? We use cinnabar here at the museum the same way the Maya did, to keep things as authentic as possible. Henrik orders those kinds of supplies, but we've been out of stock for quite a while. The last I heard, there was some kind of holdup with the distributor. I've got work to do. Bye. Okay. Oh, distributor. So let's see if that's on that list of um, locations. Locations. Not locations. Suppliers in the lab. Uh, by the phone. Yes, by the phone. That sounds right. That sounds correct. Um, five, 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 six, seven, six, six. You have no voicemail. I hope that was right. I really hope that was right. Keep it real. Max speaking. Hi, I'm the new deputy curator over at Beach Hill Museum. I wonder if you could answer a couple of questions for me about our ordering history. Well, hello there, Beach Hill. Hey, you're not Sonny June. Whatever happened to that guy? I suppose he caught a ride on a flying saucer, eh? <laughs> what a riot. Uh, I'm sorry. Anyway, you don't need to reorder, do you? Unless you ate last week's shipment for breakfast, that is. Do you know who placed that order? Well, the initials on the order are JR. Was the package shipped to the museum? Uh, oh, oops, I guess we didn't ship it at all. It looks like the package was picked up here at the warehouse. So there hasn't been a hold up at the distributor or anything like that? Hold up? Oh, I don't know where you heard that. We've got enough mercuric sulfide in-house to sink a ship. You're sure it was last week? Oh, well, that's okay. what it says here. Can you remember anything okay. about the person who picked up the package? Hmm. Uh, I sure can't. Guess I must have been at lunch or something. Well, thanks for your help. Sure thing. I hope there wasn't any problem with the stuff, was there? We only used the top-grade mercuric sulfide. Judging by the impression it left, I'd have to agree that the quality was fine. Well, you sound a little green in the chemicals department, if you don't mind my saying so. I hope you know that mercuric sulfide is highly toxic. Makes you crazy. Toxic? This is an interesting oh, uh, vocal performance, uh, but okay. another call coming in here. You give us a call in about four months or so when you start to run out, okie doke? And don't forget to keep it real. Got it, bestie. Boop, 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 boop. No, no, get out of here. Get out of here. Ma'am. Need something? All right. I've got work to do. Bye. Bye. Let's go outside? We haven't been out there in a second. Is there anything out here? Anyone out here? Hello? Oh, what if I... Nope, but it was worth a shot. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Alright, thank you, Nance. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'm 
at a complete loss for what to do next other than go home and lay down. So we're going to be done for the night. I'm going to save the game twice, as always. And uh, then I will see you. Um, so on Monday, I, I'm not doing a stream tomorrow because um, I'm still trying to figure out my computer and I have things I need to do. I have a Layton on Monday that is uh, the Ar Azran Legacy. We're on Azran Legacy week three. And then on Thursday, I will be back here. So if anyone wants to come to any of those other ones, I would love to see you then. Um, if not, I'll see you around. Have a good day. Have a good night. And uh, I hope you're well. Bye.